We begin with video just into our newsroom. Air Force One landing moments ago at Ellington Field. From there, President Trump will head downtown to Toyota Center for a Make America Great Again rally, where he'll offer a boost of support for Senator Ted Cruz's campaign. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lauren Freeman. And I'm Bill Baessa. With just a few weeks to go until Election Day, Republicans and Democrats alike have much at stake. We have team coverage for you tonight. Both Sion Rhodes and Jacob Rascone are at Toyota Center covering the president's rally with Ted Cruz. Phil Archer is covering Beto O'Rourke in Houston today. We begin with Ryan Korsgaard live at Ellington Field where Air Force One just touched down. Ryan? Bill, at Air Force One right now, taxi to a stop. Let me show you this international sign of American freedom all around the world. The flying White House uh, taxi to a stop right now. In the next few moments, Senator Ted Cruz, as well as several dignitaries, including congressmen from our area, are expected to go out to Air Force One. Right now, you can tell they are working to stop the plane, chalk the plane. Uh, there are two ramps that will go out. The stairs will come down. The president will come down to be greeted by Ted Cruz. Of course, uh, the president is here for a rally tonight at Toyota Center uh, for the senator from Texas. Uh, and uh, we'll see him in a moment, as well as... Uh, Congress people Kevin Brady from the Woodlands as well as Pete Olson from Sugarland. Other dignitaries also here as well uh, going out to Air Force One just as soon as those stairs uh, have actually arrived there at the aircraft. Uh, but again, he was expected to uh, touch down at about 445. Instead, it turned into closer to about 458 this afternoon. So his uh, arrival into downtown will be delayed by a bit. We are told, or were told originally, he would arrive at about 5.20 in downtown for that meeting as well as rally. He will leave downtown this evening at 7.50, arrive back here at Ellington Field at 8.15, and depart Houston at 8.25. Uh, we're told in all he will be back at the White House by 11.25 tonight. And uh, you can see as we wait right now uh, for the president to... Uh, leave Air Force One as we know some of the advanced crew is uh, disembarking the uh, rear of the aircraft uh, to prepare for his arrival here uh, in Houston. Again, this is his second time here in just a couple of months. Of course, you'll remember he was here to visit with some of the uh, families of the victims of the uh, Fantas Santa Fe uh, shooting, you'll remember. Uh, but again, you can see those uh, stairs making their way out to Air Force One now. Uh, next, we know the uh, senator as well as two congressmen will make their way out to uh, greet the president as he comes off of Air Force One. Uh, right here to the, uh, you can see to your bottom right, uh, there are Houston police officers uh, that are encircling uh, the aircraft as well as uh, you can see the motorcade and the beast as it's referred to, the giant limousine. There are two of them. Uh, that one will carry the president and other will carry dignitaries into downtown Houston as uh, it is uh, kind of, you can imagine, a circle here around the, uh, around the aircraft. Uh, Senator Ted Cruz, as well as the congressman, making their way now out to Air Force One. And as soon as they get the uh, signal, they will uh, greet the president who will step off of Air Force One in just a moment. Stay with this picture for a moment as uh, President Trump expected to step off of Air Force One in the next few moments. Uh, to the left of your screen, you can see the senator as well as the congressman uh, guided by uh, one of the advanced workers here locally in Houston, uh, guided into place as the president will come off of Air Force One in just the next few moments. You can see uh, Kevin Brady there. You can also see Senator Ted Cruz. Trying to see, uh, get our first glance of the president as he will come off of Air Force One really just in the next few minutes. You can imagine uh, the security is tight here. All of the aircraft that were here over the weekend for the uh, Wings Over Houston Air Show had to be out by midday uh, to make uh, way for, of course, Air Force One. Uh, everything locked down here at this point. We arrived here uh, just after 1 o'clock. We're escorted in, uh, got all of our equipment set. And then, of course, uh, had to uh, back off while they checked our equipment, and we just made our way here back in about the last hour or so, Ryan, as you can imagine, a very tight security. Yes. L l let me interrupt you a second. It's Bill. Ryan, uh, you pointed out that, the, that uh, Congressman Cruz is, uh, Senator Cruz is there and local congressman. Do you see the mayor anywhere or any local officials? 
I have not, and I was keeping an eye because uh, it, it is always interesting to see uh, which which local uh, uh, officials do greet the uh, greet the president when he comes to any city. Uh, something else I noticed: is Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick is not here. I know he is supposed to uh, introduce the president tonight, but I have not seen him here today either. What type of security sweeps did you guys go through? I know you talked about security being very tight there. Well, originally we had to stage our equipment, and that includes the camera, the tripods, things like that, uh, here on a riser that we're standing upon right now. Uh, so then they presumably brought uh, bomb-sniffing dogs and things along those lines uh, to check our equipment before we were allowed back out. So we were kept inside a building for about an hour and a half, and this is standard. So once we actually were able to come back outside, uh, we were wanded just as you are at the airport if you if you don't go through the uh, x-ray, and uh, we were checked. They checked all of our bags, uh, briefcases, uh, things along that line. Uh, Ryan, I know that you have the president's itinerary there and that he goes from here uh, over to, uh, to meet with the supporters and have that big rally uh, over at Lakeside, but I'm, I mean at Toyota Center. When is he wheels up tonight, do you know? Uh, we do. In fact, uh, I have, have the full itinerary. And uh, the interesting thing is he's back here by about 8.15 tonight. Uh, and then he will be out of here and back at the White House by, uh, if I remember correctly, 11.25 tonight. So by 11.30, he's back home at bed. Um, he will fly, of course, to uh, Joint Base Andrews on Air Force One and then take Marine One back there to the south lawn of the White House. So this is a, an in and out for him. Uh, just parachute into Houston. Sure meet with the supporters, endorse Ted Cruz, and just fly back. That is exactly right. And, and keep in mind also, there is a brief roundtable meeting with some supporters before the big rally inside Toyota Center, uh, something that hasn't been discussed too much, and I, I did happen to take note of today on his schedule. It said he would briefly meet with some supporters. It did not name those supporters, uh, but he will have that brief roundtable before he has the large rally. Presumably, these will be really high-dollar uh, uh, Republican supporters, correct, here, here in Houston? That would certainly be a safe bet. Uh, that has been the case with this administration and past administrations. Let me ask you this. I know there's a huge crowd down at Toyota Center. What's the crowd like there at Ellington Field where you are? You know, the interesting thing is we came here and we were we were looking to see if there were any supporters or, or anyone outside of uh, outside of Ellington Field at all. And we did not see anyone with signs. Of course, you have to keep in mind, we had to be here several hours earlier for that security sweep. But I, I didn't see anyone outside. The difference, I think, with this as opposed to some of his previous visits in the last couple of months, uh, he does have this large event downtown. That was not the case in, in the last visit. So I think people were trying to get a chance to see the motorcade, uh, get a look at Air Force One, and so we did not see anyone outside of Ellington Field. But I also heard from a, a, a big Republican supporter today who was asking exactly where Air Force One was arriving. So I don't think that was highly publicized as well. When the plane landed, the uh, the rear stair uh, case was uh, was was let down, and what, I think what we saw there was the press pool. Uh, getting off the plane. Is that correct? That is correct. There were some with the traveling press pool, but we also know that there were some of the uh, military officers who travel on board Air Force One. Okay. Uh, the Secret Service as well, it looked like, that came out there, and we see them standing there as well. Absolutely. We know that they have been having meetings for the last couple of days now, and uh, you can imagine it's been a lot to coordinate because you also had the Wings Over Houston going on this weekend. So uh, there's been a quite a lot going on in just the last couple of days. Do you know whether the president is coming alone or has he brought the first lady with him? Does it say on the itinerary? Uh, we it did not say, and I want to pass along a little something to you. Uh, our producers are passing along to me that President Trump actually tweeted an aerial photo of the crowds outside Toyota Center. Uh, he apparently uh, tweeted that while he was on Air Force One, and you can imagine that was uh, just a couple of minutes ago uh, as, as he was flying in. But uh, no, I have not seen uh, Mrs. Trump, and we're really not sure. I only know that he had a, a private lunch today uh, with Vice President Mike Pence, and there is the President of the United States. president making his way now off of Air Force One.
Difficult to see, I know, uh, once he actually gets on the other side of this limousine because the uh, glass, very, very thick, uh, hard, to, uh, hard to see the, uh, the greetings, but we will do our very best. Greeting Senator Ted Cruz. Kevin Brady, I believe, We're, I'm, I'm tiptoeing as, as well, uh, trying to see over the, the limousine. There are also a few uh, to our left here, there are a few supporters and uh, uh, some military men and women who are uh, in uniform uh, trying to uh, uh, get a glimpse as the president is arriving. We're also trying to capture a few photos that we will uh, post on click2houston.com as soon as we have an opportunity. Will Senator Cruz be riding with him down to Toyota Center? Do we know that? That is, uh, that is our belief. He will, uh, he will continue with the motorcade. Will he be actually in uh, the president's limousine? We do not know at this point. Uh, but you can see there are two limousines as well as uh, there are a couple of uh, suburbans here as well. Not only security suburbans, uh, but also presumably uh, suburbans that could carry some of the uh, contingent here. You said that he uh, tweeted a photograph of the crowds at Toyota Center. I believe that venue holds about 18,000 people, but 60 or 70,000 people applied for a permit to go in. So presumably many of those people who couldn't get in are outside along with those, I guess, who are, who are uh, protesting. You can imagine there are a lot of people who are hoping. And it looks like Ted Certainly Cruz will. Certainly a lot of people who are hoping. It looks like Ted Cruz will, ahead, will ride with the president. I believe you're right, as well as the congressman expected to get in. Uh, looks like Congressman Olson, no, not not getting in the uh, not getting in the limousine again, referred to as the beast, given just uh, how it is armored. And Bill, given your military experience, you can imagine. Uh, president now safely inside the limousine and, and keep in mind there is an entire contingent that will follow and you'll see this in just a moment uh, of not only Houston police cars but unmarked military cars uh, also an ambulance or two we saw that uh, the last time around uh, with the president always traveling with the president always making sure that he and his staff are secure uh, so you can imagine also they do not disclose in advance exactly uh, where the president's traveling or how he's getting there but it is a safe assumption you would not want to be right now on uh, the Gulf Freeway headed into downtown. Yeah, I wouldn't think. Uh, Jennifer was giving us an update on traffic earlier, and she was saying it's customary for them when they do have a president in town to basically close every entrance and exit ramp on the roadways where they'll be traveling. Very true. We see that, we see that often. Uh, it appears that they're going to head out, and they can, they can turn at any point, but uh, head out to the north and uh, probably take that left-hand turn, head... Uh, back out of Ellington Field, head for uh, the Gulf Freeway. Uh, but take a look at this motorcade. Uh, they call it a motorcade for a reason. And it's not only the uh, police officers with the blinking lights you see here in the uh, foreground, uh, but you see there in the far, far background, the far uh, upper part of your screen, you can see the blinking lights there. Uh, so they will be joined when they uh, make this exit here uh, from Ellington Field by, uh, you can see dozens of cars, trucks, uh, vans, as they make that trip, uh, it's estimated, uh, given the uh, schedule I saw a little earlier, about 25-minute trip into downtown. You can imagine uh, no stoplights and no construction barriers, a uh, little faster for the president of the free world. I, I would think so. Ryan Corscott, uh, great job out there. Thank you.